All right, so I want to show a cool trick here for getting config files to save between Portal 2 and mods like Portal Stories, Mel, Aperture Tech, whatever. So let's say I have two uh, CFG folders here. So here's one from the base Portal 2 directory. Here's one for the Portal Stories, Mel directory. If I wanted to say edit my auto exec, then I would need to edit the file in every folder where it's present. So Portal Stories, Mel, Portal 2, Aperture Tech, wherever. Uh, however, there is a pretty cool trick that allows you to have only one set of files that work between all of your mods, uh, and here's how it works. So, Swords Engine games have a feature where you can mount files into other game files, so that, say, Portal 2 can read files from, I don't know, the Stanley Parable or something. So, and how that works is, let's head over to the local files of the game, so right-click, Manage, Browse Local Files. Inside of the lower the lowercase portal 2 folder, there's a file called gameinfo.txt. If you open it up here at the bottom, it says search paths, and you could put a file path into here, and then the game, whichever game this file's in, will read that file path as if it's a set of game files. And that's the trick we're going to be using. So, what we're going to be doing here is inside of this lowercase portal 2 folder, we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it... Uh, whatever works actually I'm calling it dot p2 common uh, the dot is there on Windows it brings it to the top of the file path on Linux it hides it from the directory but you could call it whatever you want I'm going to open this up in a new window here just so I have it uh, let's head to the CFG folder just to put my configs in there so grab whichever files I want let's bring these ones over and put it into the p2 common folder now this won't work, what you need to do is make a folder in there called CFG and then put them in because essentially what we're doing is making a brand new lowercase portal 2 folder for the game to read. So just as the lowercase portal 2 folder has a CFG folder in it, our common folder needs to have a CFG folder in it. Uh, you might be inclined to put the config file in here, config.cfg. This is the file that houses all of your binds. However, this won't actually work, as if you make a new bind in game, whether it's from the menu or from console, uh, the game will rewrite the file, the config.cfg file, in its base directory, which is this portal to portal to cfg. So sadly, uh, you can't put config files inside of the common folder to put into all your mods. However, what you can do instead is copy the config file, rename it to something like binds, and then uh, move it to whatever folder you want. And then in whichever mod, just run the command exec binds, and that will uh, set up your previous binds. All right, I'm also going to put in uh, the source auto record DLL. You don't need to uh, make any new folders for this, you can just put them right into the common folder. Uh, if you watched the setup tutorial, you would have also downloaded this sar.pdb uh, file, which is essentially a crash log expander. Uh, this cannot go in the common folder and must go in this base uppercase portal 2 folder, so you will also need to install this per mod if you want it, but it isn't strictly necessary. So if we w were now to open up uh, portal 2, you will notice that it doesn't work. There's nothing. If I run sar about, it says unknown command. So to get it to work in Portal 2, we got to go to our lowercase Portal 2 folder, head to that game info.txt file, and in here where it says search paths, game, game info.path, we're going to make a new line. And inside of here, we're going to start with game. Then afterwards, I just tabbed over so it looks nice. We're going to put in the file path to our P2 common folder. So open up the folder, head to the search bar, control C, and then in quotes, we're going to paste the file, the file path, and save it. So now, when we open up Portal 2, you will see that our configs works. If I run star about, everything's working. So to get P2 common to work in mods like Portal Stories Mel, or even source mods like uh, Portal 2 Speedrun mod for example, we need to edit the game file path, the game file.txt, inside of these other directories. So for Portal Stories Mel for example, we're going to right click, manage, browse local files, 
head to the lowercase portal stories folder uh, for aperture tag it'll be uh, just lowercase aperture tag for portal reloaded it'll be portal reloaded and right there is our game info underneath the three games so above platform we're going to put that same line and of course if you do have any configs in the portal stories mail directory be sure to uh, delete them as well, making sure to keep the config.cfg. So now when we open up Portal Stories Mail, it will work with our configs. And finally, for a Portal 2 speedrun mod or other source mods, going to once again head to Browse Local Files. This will take you to the normal Portal 2 directory. What you want to do is go back to the Steam Apps folder head to source mods, so where your Portal 2 speedrun mod is actually located. And in here is our game info.txt. You want to put this underneath the Portal 2. And just like that, you have one set of configs for all of your Portal mods. Super nice, super easy. Yeah, that's pretty much it.